guys, it's Inspirational Nails, and I'm coming to you with haul time. And this haul is from the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have some nail-related products and some non-related products, but I really want to show you. I haven't been going to the Dollar Tree as much as um, I used to, just because I really want to utilize um, to get other things that I really want. And uh, I can go crazy at the Dollar Tree. But I really want to show you some things that I found that I really really think is worth stopping by the Dollar Tree and picking up. Um, some is nail related, some isn't as I said, but I really want to show you what I found that I haven't seen. Um, the first is that uh, LA Colors has gotten some new, 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 new polishes. Okay, uh, I picked up three of these. Um, they do have some others. I would say probably between five and ten uh, new ones that they've received. And these are the three that I picked up. This one here is a amazing kind of coppery color and I got it to use it for stamping because I just knew it was going to stamp. Um, it is called, hopefully it focuses, Desert Dune and Dooney or Dune and it's a again a beautiful copper color. And I want to show you what its swatch is like because when it comes to stamping, because it's really, really pretty. Uh, this is just my Hello Kitty plate, and I'm just going to do it really quick. I want to show you the bear because I think that this color would just look so awesome utilizing it for like the bear. Okay. I'm just going to swipe and it kind of looks like it's a little translucent but when you pick it up it's just absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful look at that it's just gorgeous it looks like it would not stamp once you put it on uh, the plate but just try it because it's absolutely beautiful and I want to show you what it looks like there is the image Super cute, super cute. Okay, um, let me just put this back to the side. So that's um, that's Desert Dune or Dooney. The the next one is this one here, which is called Cutie, and oh, this is so beautiful. It is a like a purple jelly base, and it has uh, matte hexes in it. It has some blue larger ones, some uh, small. Uh, small white matte hexes, some white dotted hexes, I'm sorry, some white dots I meant, um, and some stars. The stars are silver in here. They want, I want to say they're silver or white. I think they're more silver and it's absolutely beautiful. I love this. Okay, and the next one I got is this amazing black polish and it has holographic glitter and it, I mean, this thing twinkles. I'm not sure if you could see how amazing this thing twinkles. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. It's gorgeous. And this is called Midnight. And it just looks like the night sky. Twinkling night sky. It's just beautiful. Very excited to, to get these and find those. Um, I also found uh, some other polishes from LA Colors, which I thought they were just so cute. They're so well packaged. They're just really adorable. I had to pick them up. This is uh, from LA Colors as well, as I said. And this is called a 2-in-1 Polish Glitter Pop. Almost looks like a lipstick, but it's not. It's actually, this one is called uh, Mysterious. As you can see, the name is up there. This is a really deep purple plum color and what it is is that it basically has a little pot on top that you can um, pop open and uh, you can shake glitter out and this one has just a uh, glitter it's, it's not too fine but it's it's small uh, small size glitter um, on the top and on the bottom it's a nail polish you just you know unscrew it and there's your polish I have one open I'm gonna show you so the other one I got is this one is like a turquoise color. Uh, this one's called Enchanted and it is just, this one actually has a kind of holographic iridescent glitter on the top and it's more silver base. 
and this one has a sheer type of um, a sheer turquoise color polish versus the plum one is more of a cream base then there's this one that reminds me of uh, what do you call it um, it's like a bubblegum pink type of color I I want to say it's more like you know that one when your tummy hurts and you take Pepto Bismol. There we go. It's definitely a bright a bright pink. It's super cute though. It's called Everlasting, and it has a beautiful type of iridescence, uh, pink holographic glitter on the top. It's really pretty. You can see it sparkling, and then of course the nail polish. And it is a cream base. Okay, and then here is the red one. This is the red box, and this is what it looks like. Okay, the red one is called Heartthrob, and it's just so well packaged. It's just so cute. Look at the bow on it, on the packaging. It's just cute. It does give you instructions just on the side here on how to use it. It says e easy pour out, um, easy grip handle. So with, with this one here, uh, on the top you would just flip it open and you see it has the little holes for the glitter to come out and this one has a beautiful silver base glitter up on the top and then here is this beautiful red I mean it is beautiful it's a deep deep red look at that I love the color okay and it's really that simple they just are so cute and it has a name in the back which is really cute just really cute cute little packaging type of little polishes okay and then I also picked up this one here from Revlon this one's called embody um, they put out a lot of the Revlon polishes I picked up some some time ago um, but this one I didn't have and I really like it it's a really pretty nude color and it's just like a milky type of nude so I really like that one Okay, uh, the other polish I picked up, it's very common at the Dollar Tree. It's from Wet n Wild, and this is called Hallucinate. Um, I love this polish. I, you know, this is just a great topper, and a lot of people really love me to put this on their nails because it's just like, it's just so pretty. Look at that. It just sparkles in so many different colors and it's a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. So I just wanted to pick up another one. Okay. And then this is not nail related, but I'm super, super excited that I found these because I've seen um, other people haul these and I have been waiting to find them. I thought they would never come to my Dollar Trees. And here they go. These are the color tattoos by Maybelline. Now let me tell you, these at, at least at um, the drug screen stores where I live, they're eight bucks, they're $7.99 uh, for these Maybelline tattoos. Whether you go to Walgreens or CVS, they're $7.99. And these are the Pure Pigment. Uh, this is 24 hour lasting. This one here, oh my God, is gorgeous. This one is called Black Mystery. But it has a blue shimmer in it. I mean, as I move it, you can see the blue shimmer in it. It's just gorgeous. I am just so excited that I found these. So I found that one. I also got this beautiful pink. And it's called Pink Rebel. And it's just a beautiful color. This one has a kind of a purple shimmer in it and it just gives that just gorgeous look I'm not sure if you can see that purple shimmer going through it but it is beautiful these are amazing the next one is this type of turquoise one and it's just beautiful and this one is called never fade jade it's amazing okay the next one I got is this like bronzy type of color and this one's called Breaking Bronze. So it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the last one that I picked up is this one. This one has a more of a kind of a more deep 
gold type of color and this one is called downtown brown because it's like a mix between a brown and a gold that's just the best way i can describe it it's definitely beautiful i'm so excited to have found those i also found some um some brushes and i have uh had this one already but i want just to pick up another one uh this one is the l'oreal makeup artistry brush and it's cool because it has like a, um, a cap on it you know you can use this for nails you can also you know use this for your makeup and it's just a really nice um, eye brush or you can use it to clean up your uh, cuticle area okay um, or you can even use it for nail art depending on what you're doing and what is cute, cool about it is that you take the top and you push it back and you really have a nice holder there on the brush. And then when you're done, you know, once you clean it up and you put it away. It's really, really nice. And for a dollar, can't go wrong. So, and actually this one is for lipstick. You can see it in the back here. So you can use this as a lipstick brush. Um, or you can use it again for, for nails, depending on what you're doing and what you're using it for. So, but for makeup, it is tended for, for the lips. Super cute. Okay. The other brush I got is this one here is by Wet n Wild and it's just an eye, um, eyeshadow brush and it's just a really pretty soft, uh, brush to kind of blend in the colors together. That's why I got it. So um, it's really cute. It's very well packaged. You just rip at the top and it has like a little opening and you just pull it out. Um, so really excited about that. Okay, so I also picked up these really cool um, paints that I got and they're in the kit section, okay? But you can use them as acrylic paints and um, this one here, you can use them to more like color fill. I wouldn't say they're, I'm not sure if they're acrylic based paint. Actually, they're water based paint. Um, this one here, look how bright this is. It is a beautiful neon pink color here. And, um, it says it's water based. So you definitely, if you, Put water in it and you're able to utilize it when you're doing maybe stamping and you want that water effect um, on top of the image so that's kind of what I got them for you have this bright yellow and this pretty deep purple they have other colors they have red they even have glitter ones and um, they also have a blue and a neon green um, but these were the three that I picked up um, I just wanted to to try them out I really love this pink had to have it so I will be seeing if these uh, work well or not okay um, I also picked up this has nothing food related <laughs> but I did pick up these uh, natural valley at the Dollar Tree I love these and these are usually you know kind of um, pricey you know they're a couple of dollars I mean to get them at the dollar store for a dollar that is really good there's four bars is two bars per pack so that is really good so there's two packs in here but there's four bars so definitely definitely worth it I mean basically it's 50 cents a pack so I got that. I picked up a few of these because I really like these for a snack at work and they're good for you. So I like that. The other ones I picked that I got for snack are these from Nature Valley. I mean, if you guys know how much Nature Valley is, I mean, they're not they're not a dollar at Publix. So I picked up these. It is a four pack. There's four of these in there. And then what's great about it is it's three per pack of these uh, cinnamon crackers that they are so good. They are so good. Um, they're like grand crackers and they just have like this little um, kind of, they have like that, I, that uh, oh, I even forgot how to describe it. That like uh, crystals up on the top, you know, that sugar crystals. That's what lays on the top. These are really good, guys. I normally don't show like food stuff, but these are good. <laughs> okay, so I got those. 
Okay, now I wanted to show you uh, something really, really fun. Now, if you look, I actually have, let me just see if you can, if I can pull out back here. See, I'm using my Yuba Chic mat that um, is from uh, yubachic.com and they are an amazing uh, stamping that you can get here in the States and uh, they have this uh, mat that they've released recently that you can do decals and it's about $14.99 plus like $5 shipping but I wanted to show you guys an alternative to using where you can get another type of mat it does not have the you know the fingers and it's not like kind of this soft silicone base but it gives you an alternative to having a mat type where you can do decals on that is just very similar to using the Yuba Chic mat um, where it's cost effective I mean it's at the dollar store so definitely cost effective and it actually is the chopping mat and that's right if um, these are at the dollar store it is pretty big it's a set of two actually flexible uh, chopping mats that are in here and um, it has where you can just open it and again they are really flexible okay you can utilize this for two different things and I'm going to show you if you are a stamping lover like I am okay so I'm just pulling one out okay and as you see it's very thin okay and it is very flexible okay and what's great about it is is that you can go ahead and right on this mat you can um, put a paper that already has kind of the same type of design if not whatever you want underneath the actual mat so that you kind of have just the same like this and you can actually just put the clear coat right on top design it the way you want and lift it right off I mean this is a cheaper alternative but it's also a great one I think this is perfect to do um, reverse stamping where you actually you know stamp the image on top of a clear clear base and you take it off and you put it on your nails it would be this you know the same way so you know you just have to you know print on a piece of paper these type of images okay where it has and you could do different shapes you could do just, just so many different things on the paper because you're just printing it on paper okay where you can give yourself uh, even more um, kind of templates underneath the actual mat so it works really really good and it's it does work amazing so pick these up I mean it's two per pack you cannot go wrong with that so I want to tell you another thing that you can do with these and there's two options that um, I see at the dollar store that you can use in order to do the second thing that I want to show you tips in regards to nail stamping this one is the chopping mat but then they also have in the kids section um, is this oh, I'm trying to get this stuff in here guys okay so this is called it's from crafter square as you can see right here okay and I'm just trying to get the label and I was making a lot of noise but this is a craft and activity mat and it's basically just like the mats that you get for for like a table that they have at the dollar store like I have one that has um, the minions on it it's kind of the same material but what's great about it is is that it's pretty big okay it is pretty big guys okay this is the size it is 12 inches by 18 inches okay and the great thing that you can do with this is two different things for stamping you can utilize this as well for uh, decals as well um, now it's a little bit I would say they do have different colors they have black they have red they have green they have blue uh, so they do have different colors I would probably go with um, like a red or maybe the green just because when you are stamping especially if you're using black as your base uh, when you're stamping 
you might not be able to see too much of you know how to color in because the background is black but I will tell you I bought these black ones not to use for uh, doing decals but I use them to, I'm going to use them to put them as backs for my plates that do not have backings on them okay uh, especially the ones that I call them my bootleg plant plates I know I call them bootleg plates because they're plates that I get from Aliexpress um, and they do not have backings on them that and they are very sharp those are tend to be more sharper than others I've never injured myself with plates but I do in order to store them I would rather them have a backing on them so I'm actually gonna make backings out of this uh, craft mat and you can just um, use an existing one that does have a backing like the Mundo de Un I'm sorry the Moyu London and these Moyu Londons already have a backing on it now of course the ones in the back of here are much harder you know they're much thicker but it really doesn't bother me as long as there's something that kind of um, protects from me injuring myself and just gives me a little bit of a more base support on the plate um, it will work just fine and I'm gonna cut them up to size just you know kind of use an exacto knife in order to trace them out and and glue them oops sorry about that <laughs> and glue them um, I use the 600 glue that's probably the most expensive thing that you would buy out of this project um, exacto knife I think you can find exacto knives at the dollar store too um, but the, probably the, your most would be the 600 glue, 6,000 glue, whatever it's called. And, um, those you can find at any craft store. Uh, you probably can use crazy glue or a different type of glue. Uh, for me, I like using the 6,000 glue because I know it's going to stick and I know it ain't going to go nowhere. So I just, I, I know the quality of the glue and I know it's very strong and durable. So that is going to be a project that I'm going to be doing. Um, if you guys want me to go ahead and show you guys that project, I will more, I will be happy to do so. But, um just comment below and I, I will go ahead and do that but I'm not gonna do that right now I just wanted to show you all the stuff I got I got the black because I like um, the black background you know the, again as I said they have other colors that you can utilize I think I brought uh, some red ones as well to use on on a different just to kind of keep the brands cohesive with the backing um, I try to keep within the colors so that's what's great about these little mats they have them all different colors so you can utilize it in that fashion so um, those are the mats and here's the other mat okay and the other thing I wanted to show you again it is not nail related um, I got this gala bag um, it's so cute. It's, it's in the phone section where all the little gadgets are for the phones. And I think this is such a cute little bag. It is for your smartphone or you can any phone that you can get to fit in here. You know, it doesn't supposed to go all the way in, but you just want it to fit kind of snug in there so that you can um, travel with it. It's basically a travel kind of bag. What I like about it is that it has this zipper in the back where you can put like your credit card or your driver's license or both and it really has a really nice uh, kind of velvety suede inside like a suede inside material very well made little bag uh, super cute they had another one but the other one didn't have a pocket in the back it just was the actual holder so I really like the fact that this one had a zipper on it and it was the only one that had the zipper so I picked this one up super cute the other thing I found that I have not seen at the Dollar Tree and there was only three I picked up all three um, sometimes the dollar store I don't know if this is going to be a common um, item but if it is I'm going to be picking up some more this is the Alvino moisturizing bar um, and you know that these are pretty expensive at least a couple of dollars at uh, you know Walgreens or CVS uh, my daughter uses these she has really really sensitive skin and this is the bar soap that she uses 
and I really, really, it's really good for her skin. Um, she has uh, really bad uh, psoriasis, so um, this soap works great and doesn't flare it up. Um, and it keeps her moisturized and it, it really does work. So this is um, the bar soap and I found three of them. Okay, so these were the only three I found. They were in the soap section, you know, in the baskets on the bottom. Um, and there was only three in there, so I definitely picked up all three. Okay, guys, I think that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. And I hope you enjoyed. And until next one, bye, guys.